Oh boy, another unboxing. Let's see what we got in here for today, cause uh, yeah, no, I, I was un I was not expecting this one to arrive today. So let's give it a swap. Why, why did I say swap? And once removed from the box, we got the SH Figure Arts Renewal or Reissue 7 from this year. This is basically a re-release. It's not really um, a figure improvement to my uh, knowledge, but uh, it should be fun to play around with. I actually um, don't have the original one. I never got around to getting it, and I was like, oh, let's finally get it, you know? It's going to be nice to have one. It was either this or the 55th anniversary one. It's kind of hard choosing, but then this one appeared on pre-order. This one was a bit cheaper. And I was like, you know what? Let's get it. It's not going to harm me. It's like been on pre-order for a while already, I think. So it, it didn't take long to arrive. It, again, it was a surprising one to receive. So I might actually double build this unboxing with the Ella King one, which probably should be here within the next week or a few days. I don't know. Because I already paid that pre-order as well. These guys have just already been paid for a while. So it's just like, oh, it's just a matter of when they'll arrive. So, very cheap chip shipping that has tracking and insurance, but does take a while to arrive. But I don't mind waiting two weeks. That's what kind of like EMS, which is the one I normally use, used to take back in the day. And this one, on the other hand, used to take um, a whole month to arrive. So, things went down with time. It's really cool though. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you when we get Ella King and we can compare them both and, you know, have around some fun with the figure talk. Well, we got our second package here, and it's basically uh, going to be the other thing I pre-ordered for quite a while. I think I did mention it in the previous recording, whatever. Suspense. Um, it's funny because, you know, I chose the cheapest shipping, and yet they put it still in a big box. It's, it's kind of funny, but hey, cheap is cheap, so I don't mind waiting a while longer for it to arrive. Let's open it up, shall we? And as usual, Amiami with their very cute stuff that they put in here. Let's see what's this. Uh, thank you for shopping with us. Uh, well, thank you as well, alright? And uh, let's see, alright. Let's open it up and wow, there it goes. See how they put a lot of packaging just to... Okay, it is quite wide from the back side, I'm starting to notice. So, we're going to take them out in a bit. And uh, time for the final verdict. Oh my god. I had to put them on top of the box instead because, you know, it's a big old fucking box, so... You know, there's not much space. And, uh, yeah, no. Uh, I had fun playing with them behind the scenes. Uh, I even compared them to uh, Iron King over there, so I'm going to put these images on the screen while after editing or something like that. But, yeah, no, this is really, really good stuff, honestly. Very solid releases. The Ultra 7, I think I'm starting to consider that I would have preferred getting the Marvel one from the Comic Con because upon closer reconsideration and inspection it might actually be that special color version we were promised years ago as for Ella King himself they really cooked you know uh, Monster Arts Kaiju I mean not Monster Arts Figure Arts Kaiju have been really consistently good at least the ones I have I, 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 I don't know why I said that I don't even own any of the other ones besides like Gomera but they've been really good uh, I might be getting goals on another time but yeah, no, I'm really happy. Um, I actually should be getting another package later on today, but uh, that one's not gonna be included in this video. I wanted to make this simple and quick. So yeah, no, these are pretty good figures. I played around with them. Ella King has some nice articulation range, although mine kind of falls apart a bit on some parts. It's mostly on like the end of edges, um, be it the tail tip over there, his hand, etc. But otherwise, a very good figure. Ultra Seven has this thing where. His uh, slugger will stay on, it stays on, no issue whatsoever like apparently happened with the older ones. But, um, you can easily flick it off if you really want to. So, that's up to you. Careful on how you're playing, alright? Simple as. But, yeah, no, it's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Um, I really don't know what else to add. Uh, we're almost done with um, the Figma Ryuki collection. As mentioned in the other video, all needs is that they need to be shipped. And uh, we're only a few away from finishing. We only need two more. But that's not really relevant to this video. You're here for Ultraman, are you not? But yeah, now this other package I'm going to be getting is going to be filled with a lot of Ultra stuff, which is the reason why I bought a lot more writer shit um, throughout this whole year, because I already had my Ultra stuff kind of booked for a while. So yeah, no, that's, uh, that's all, and thank you for watching. Um, if you want to see more fun unboxings, of course, stick around and you know the rest. So yeah, see ya.